I just installed some lights in my basement. It's a little too bright as you can see here. So today I'm gonna to install one of these dimmer switches, which will make things nice and cozy down here. I have an LED light, so I make sure it says compatible with LED. So here are the lights right here. One of the first things you wanna do is find your electric circuit panel and find the circuit of the light switch and make sure you turn that off before you work on the light switch. So right now this mine's in French, so it's this one here, Sous Sol, number one. Number one, so let's turn this off. Oh. That's the one. Another thing that comes in handy when you're doing any type of electrical work is one of these electrical sensor things. You just gotta press it and put it near a live circuit and it'll tell you if it's active or not. Just to make sure this thing is not low on batteries is to press it and put it near a circuit that you know is active. So we know that this device is working. So I just unscrewed the, the faceplate here. So I took that off. This is the switch we're gonna replace and it's a, a standard single pull switch. So there's only a switch in one location. So as you can see, this is not active. So we're good to go. This is what the, the current switch looks like. You have a black and white wire and we're gonna be replacing it right here. So this is what the new switch looks like, the dimmer switch, and we're just gonna be swapping these out. So here we are back of the circuit breaker. I'm gonna flip this switch on. Let's see if it works. Uh, way to set the mood. Now that I'm sure that's working, I'm just screwing this back in, make sure it's secure to the wall and not sliding around at all. And then here's the new faceplate. So as you can see, installing a dimmer switch is something that's really easy to do. No need to call an electrician for this kind of job. You can do it yourself in about 15 minutes. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and leave us any comments or questions below.